this industry is so new and requires so much original thought that's going to happen. Uh, and I, I think a lot of this uh, area uh, comes with, you can't have too much stigma. So even at Drive, as we build up our team, it's very mindful to not have too much groupthink as we hire. Uh, you, we don't actually want uh, much auto DNA in how we build. I think uh, auto, their strength is uh, V and V. Mm -hmm. And I think that they could be very helpful uh, adding value there, but in terms of how we build up our AI system, we look for people who come from uh, you know different schools of thought, uh, different regulatory environments, and have seen this uh, telecom industry. So I think when we look at this space, it's uh, we're looking for people with very strong uh, disruptive thought uh, as we move out, and we have that luxury because we're building our team from the beginning. And we don't have to carry the burden of, you know, like 10 years of legacy code. And when a major AI breakthrough comes by, you know, you have to make that hard choice of turning a large ship around into going to a different direction. I absolutely believe uh, at this point in time, there are going to be, you know, there's, there's so much competition. Uh, there, the solution for trucking is not going to be the same solution for ride sharing, which is not going to be the same, like, solution for a private land golf cart. And why couldn't cart. a company do all of them, though? You know, I, since no one has solved it ever, uh, to, to take on such, a, a startup has to stay focused um, and really solve a pain point. And if you really dig deep on a pain point, uh, different products will start to emerge uh, that satisfy uh, different customers. We're not at the point where self-driving cars is going to be commoditized right now. Uh, you know, I think that phase will happen much, much later. Uh, at this point in time, it's the company who wins is one that is able to stay focused, solve specific pain points, uh, as well as uh, you know find customers that really love what they're building. Because uh, you know it's if you have to keep disengaging and you're getting jerked around during your ride. Yes, you got from point A to point B, but that experience was quite painful, and you know you may not turn on your autopilot. Mm -hmm. So. So this this is the phase that we're in. There's a mix of um, really strong product as well as uh, you know really strong technology. And I think so much of the discussions have been focused on the technology because we've never solved this problem. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have to bake in the safety factors and the product factors from day one. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest challenges uh, facing uh, autonomous vehicles, besides the tech, besides the you know regulation and all of that, uh, it's it's the most it's honestly is the most difficult problem across the board. Uh, but in my mind, what is uh, going to be the one of the biggest pieces of the conversation is uh, transparency in this industry and trust uh, from the general public, because most people's interaction with a self-driving vehicle will not be as a rider but more as uh, an average consumer looking at this product. And in a place where everyone is watching so carefully, there has mm. to be a level of transparency. Uh, you know, the self-driving car companies uh, need to band together because we're all in this fight, and one person's accident uh, reflects on all of us. So I think it's about um, a level of transparency without vanity metrics. Uh, I don't think... Uh, the you know for instance the federal government does not need to mandate over us how we need to specifically do things um, but I think what they are encouraging is a level of transparency and at Drive uh, you know it's a discussion around what metrics really matter versus which which ones are just uh, for show uh, that that could skew the industry um, what ones actually matter for one our engineers to feel very proud and stand behind the product that they build mm -hmm. and two. Um, you know, metrics around the uh, public trust. So how do we gain trust of the businesses that want to work with us? How do we build up our credibility there? Uh, how do we build trust with the general public mm -hmm. uh, that showcases um, a, an understanding of how the AI uh, technology, uh, what it's thinking without uh, whether it's through visual cues, whether it's a way of th these cars communicate. I think these are things that we're actively exploring because the world is dynamic and even as a human you know it's very frustrating sometimes as you are interacting inside your car 
um, trying to communicate with the other cars. Uh, there's a lot of very quick decision making and also change of direction that could lead to broken trust uh, with different AI systems.